All right, hello everybody, and welcome to my commentary. You know, I really need an intro for this uh, second channel. Let's let's try that again. Hey, what's up, guys? Juicehead here, and we got some Battlefield 1942 gameplay. Uh, yeah, so I sped up the little fast, uh, the beginning bit here, just because, I don't know, kind of seemed boring, nothing really happened. I got, I got one kill here, so otherwise I'm just, like, running around and walking. Plus, it was, uh, over, it was, like, 16 minutes, so I just had to get it one minute shorter, but I just more or less fast forward the boring parts. I play with my controls, because this is my first time playing this, this game in, like, in a couple months. you also see me, I'll talk about it real fast now, um, I, uh, I do some spotting, like, I try and, I forget, I'm used to, Battlefield Bad Company 2. If you play the game, you'll know. Uh, in this and Battlefield Bad Company 1, to spot the guy, all you do is look at them. In um, and in Battlefield Bad Company 2, to spot the guy, you have to actually hit uh, select your uh, back. You know that button next to start. And yeah, so I, I keep trying to do that to spot the guy, and it like keeps bringing up the menu and shit. So you'll see it a couple times. Eventually, I like, get it finally. Like right here, I'm trying to spot him, but it's not working. Uh, but yeah, so I will, uh, I have a little list here of all the things I, uh, want to talk about, and I'm a little under the weather, I don't know, I know, it's right now, it's the night before school starts, kind of sucks, but like, an hour ago, I just started, my nose got runny, and I just, I'm sneezing, so if I sneeze or sniffle, you know, that's why, just excuse it. Also, this is kind of long, this is, uh, what, 13 minute commentary so uh if you uh, don't want to sit here and listen to me talk for 13 minutes about just like random crap uh you know don't so uh, the first topic i want to talk about is i have a little notepad here uh battlefield 3 versus call of duty so um just my opinion battlefield 3 is better but then again that's kind of biased because i'm a battlefield fan but uh then again with call of duty i don't know how biased i actually am because call of duty they've been putting out the same material for how many years since Call of Duty 4? No, Modern Warfare 2. It's really been the same thing. Like, even Call of Duty 4, it's the same general thing. You get a gun and shoot people. Like, I mean, I guess that's most games. With Battlefield, at least, you the Destruction 2.0 and stuff like that. And vehicles, you know, it, it just keep, makes it more exciting. But, like, the like kill streaks, it's just more or less, it's the same game. Like, I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be Modern Warfare 2. Like, I even see, saw some gameplay, It's it looks exactly the same. Like, people using the UMP, just as overpowered as before. These no, new proficiencies and stuff, that's retarded. Like, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't, I, I, the game's gonna sell. It's a Call of Duty game, it's obviously gonna sell, but I, I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be successful. And I hope this is the time, like, where Modern Warfare 3 starts to go down. And, like, someone else takes the stand as the, like, top first-person shooter out. Because, honestly, it's had a good run. I mean, what, couple million, couple billion copies sold, probably. Uh, maybe not a couple billion, but, you know, however many. And, uh, yeah, but it's just, it, I don't know, give some other, some of the smaller, like, it would be nice to see some smaller titles, you know, rise up, like, Battlefield wasn't a smaller title. I mean, it was always a pretty big game. Like, I played Battlefield since Battlefield 2, 2005. Probably even earlier than that. Some of the older ones. 1943, Battlefield... Yeah, Battlefield 1943. But, I, I don't know. I just... Call of Duty, I feel like it's just a reskin after a reskin after a reskin. It has the same problems almost every time, and they, they fail to fix them. Like, Treyarch, I'll be honest, Treyarch did a good job. If any weren't, they did a shit job. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a fucking... Ship fest of noob tubes, uh, I don't know, so many glitches, and how many updates have you Like, two? I mean, at least Battle, uh, Black Ops got, like, three, four, I mean, that's twice as much as Modern Warfare 2, I don't know if that's the actual amount, but at least they continue to update, Modern Warfare 2, they're just like, fuck this, let's, let's go put out money, and, like, be some comparing them now, like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, what's it called? Battlefield Vietnam, Battlefield Back Army 2 Vietnam versus one of the map packs. If you have, if you, like, one of the map packs in Modern Warfare 2, the first, the first map pack, which one has more content? Just, just out of curiosity, what, in your opinion, just, just think about to yourself. I mean, I, I'm guessing by what I've said so far, my 
opinions rather obvious, but you know, whatever. So that's that's my opinions on that. Um, if you disagree, then you know, whatever. So uh, now I'm gonna talk about school. School's about to start tomorrow, and you know, a lot of people like me are probably gonna be pretty nervous. Like, actually, the thing with me is I don't get nervous or excited until it's happening. Like, I'm a, I'm a procrastinator. Like, I finished reading my book for school, what, like, three hours ago? I mean, I've had it the entire summer. I didn't buy it until August. And so, you know, it, like, the right thing to do, in my opinion, would be first day after school, read it. Just, or whatever, just start reading, like, ten pages a night, something like that. Like, I, I'm a good reader, I'm a fast reader, so it's not necessarily a problem for me. I read the book really fast, no big issue, but, uh, yeah. So here, um, let, let, let's let's see something real fast. Hold on. All right. So yeah. So the book was the five people you meet in heaven. You know, whatever. Got to read that for school. And yeah. So, um, let's let's um, what, what else was I gonna talk about? I, I keep forgetting now. I gotta get better at this whole pre or, or you know just a commentary thing. Uh, but yeah, you know, all of, if you're nervous, just what in the great words of the man named Jericho, which, you know, he's a YouTuber, it's like I-X-I, Jericho, I-X-I, don't, don't get worried or nervous about something unless you have to. Like, I, he said that, and just, I don't know, I don't, I don't really watch him that often, I just watch a few of his vlogs, like, not, I don't really like his gameplays, honestly, but his vlogs make me laugh, he's just, he's really, he's a positive guy and stuff, but he, he was going to college and everything, and he just said, like, if, if you don't have to be nervous about something, don't be nervous about it, and I, I, I just honestly, every time I get nervous now, I just kind of think about it, like, do I, should I really be nervous right now, should, should I really, like, is it necessary, I mean, it doesn't always work, but, you know, whatever, um, that's, that's un something else to talk, another story, yeah, so, uh, plus, if you think you have a bad, I have almost every period, like, my, my school is, uh, they have, like, the gym, actually, let's see, let's, I have the map right here, but, like, the gym, cafeteria, and all that kind of stuff is on one side of the school, and, uh, like, all the classrooms, like, are on the other side of the school, so, you, like, it's more or less, let's see, what does it say? So, yeah, like, the library, gymnasium, auxiliary gym, just the locker room, boiler room, storage, uh, band, music office, auditorium, stage, all that stuff is on the left side, and all the classrooms are on the right side. So, you know, that is, uh, kind of, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And then, so, more or less, my schedule is, let's see, like, first period, I'm upstairs, second period, downstairs, third period, back upstairs, fourth period, other side of the school, fifth period, back upstairs, sixth period, other side of the school again, seventh period, back on the other side, and it's just, that's my entire schedule, I go up, down, left, right, the entire day, it's kind of ridiculous, and of course, not one of those times where I ever pass my locker, so, it's kind of going to be interesting day tomorrow, actually, I don't know, I'm, I'm recording this on 9-5-2011 at 8-21pm, but... So if you're, if you're worried about that, just look at my crappy schedule, I mean, and I have 4th period lunch, which, if you don't know what that means, I'm going to be eating lunch at 9.20. Like, yeah, 9.20. Imagine eating, imagine eating lunch at 9.20 a.m. Like, what do they expect? I don't know. What I'm going to do is, honestly, if you care for whatever reason, I'm, I'm just probably going to eat, like, breakfast or brunch then, nothing, not a big meal, and, uh, just eat lunch when I get home. But, uh, yeah. So, what was the third thing I wanted to talk about? I think it was Airsoft. No, games to buy at the end of the year. So, um, at the end of the year, you know, uh, it kind of, it's kind of annoying, but they always, they have all these games that come out. You know, holiday season games. So, what I'm going to buy, uh, I'm going to buy Battlefield 3. You know, obviously, I'm a Battlefield, I'm a really big Battlefield fan. I love the Battlefield games. Look at this, look at my aim on that guy. But, no, I think he, he blows me up. I mean, I blow, I mean. Oh, wait, no, he lived. I remember that. I was like, what the hell? How did he live? He just, like, shot the ground in front of him. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to buy Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, and Skyrim so far. Those are the... Or actually, no. I'm going to buy Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Skyrim, I've never played an old Elder Scrolls game. I love the Fallout games, though. I'm just going to ask for Skyrim for Christmas because I could wait for that game. The other two games I, I want to play, like, I'm looking forward to. And then, you know, UFC, Undisputed 3, and all that. But I, I think, honestly, Battlefield 3 is going to be a really good game. I think that's going to be awesome, like, the dog fighting I saw, just, uh, the, 
like I, what I thought was really cool the whole flashlight thing where you could have a flashlight and you just like if you pointed at someone you can't see that's like in airsoft which I do which is the next thing I want to talk about if we have time uh, it's a it's a real tactic like even in mil real warfare you get a, a very bright light and, like you put it on the under barrel of your gun which if you know what the under barrel is it's um like the front of your gun it's like I don't know if you ever if you know what a rail system is on your gun, you uh, put it like right there under it, and you normally have it uh, on a grip. And if you squeeze the grip or something, it'll make the flashlight come on, or you have it with a little switch, whatever it may be. But that's what, and it's like it's a very bright flashlight. Like if you look at it, you can't see. And if like I point it at you, you can't see me. Which I mean, it's a real tactic. Like in airsoft, you, I use it for when I'm playing indoor places and it's close quarter battles, CQB close quarter combat TQC and it's a it, it works like if I shine it in your eyes you can't see it you go to cover your eyes or whatever and then I shoot you and then you're dead no you're just out but yeah so that's awesome and I think I think that'll be th that was a really cool feature I saw another cool feature I saw was the jets just seeing the dog fighting in the sky I said that though and uh, I don't, I'm not I don't know how crazy I am about some of the stuff like I know I'm saying how great Battlefield 3 is but the I don't like the health that it regenerates and I don't like what they did with the vehicles really the regenerating health on the vehicles like the vehicles if let's say the vehicle is at 80% damage it'll regenerate back to 100% but let's say you get the vehicle under 40% damage it'll stop regenerating and you could take out pieces of the vehicle which I think is cool like, uh, if I shoot the tread so many times and get it under 40% the entire vehicle, the tread will stop working so it can't move. And, like, you could limit, and then you have to get the engineers in there to repair it, which, uh, th that's an awesome thing, I think, because you get the engineers back in the game, but, and then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm not crazy about those health things or whatever. And the attachments on the guns, I don't know, it's, call, it's not Call of Duty, and the perks, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'll find out in, what does it come out, October or something, but... And then, uh, Modern Warfare 3, I don't know, I, I, like I said, I already said my opinions on it, the survival mode of Modern Warfare 3, I'm really looking forward to, the survival mode, I think is gonna be awesome, um, actually, there was a thing where they said, uh, they, they had a trailer about a dinosaur, in Battlefield 3 trailer, I think if there's Battlefield 3 dinosaur survival, that would be one of the awesomest things I've ever played, like, screw zombies, screw the Modern Warfare 3 survival, imagine trying to live off of, like, dinosaurs attacking you, like, battle, or, uh, like, Jurassic Park shit going on, that would be, I think that would just be awesome, like, as a survival mode, because, obviously, people like it, and stuff, and then Skyrim, I, I don't know what to expect, honestly, with that, uh, I haven't really, I haven't really seen anything, I mean, I've never played a Elder Scrolls game, I don't know if I'm gonna like the sci-fi, but, uh, yeah, so that is the end of the video, thank you all for watching.